Introduction This video will demonstrate the hydrodiscectomy surgical technique, a minimally invasive surgery for the treatment of lumbar disc herniations. Equipment The equipment used to perform this procedure includes the SpineJet Hydrosurgery Power Console, the SpineJet Percutaneous Disposable Access Set, and the SpineJet Perk Resector Handpiece and Direct Connect Tubing Set. To set up the console and the handpiece, first, ensure there is proper voltage alignment between the outlet and the switch on the back of the console. Connect the power cord between the two and connect the foot switch to the console. The SpineJet sterile components must be placed on a sterile field until ready to use. These include the saline supply hose, the pump cartridge, and the waste evacuation hose. Clip the perk resector handpiece to the patient drape. You are now ready to connect the pump cartridge to the power console and connect the saline supply to a saline bag. Connect the evacuation hose to an evacuation canister. If using gravity, leave one additional port open. Turn the console on, making sure the three lights on the front are off. Raise the speed setting to 10 and prime the system by depressing the foot pedal until saline is flowing through the distal end of the handpiece and waste hose. The system is now ready for use. For a detailed list of warnings and precautions, refer to the Instructions for Use and System Setup Guide. Patient Preparation and Surgical Technique The hydrodiscectomy is performed under conscious sedation, which allows the physician to monitor the patient for any signs of nerve root irritation. After the patient has undergone standard preoperative procedures, place them in the prone position elevating the belly to minimize lumbar lordosis. We will now begin the surgical technique. The first step in the process is visualizing the disc done under fluoroscopic guidance. Line up the spinous process, rotating the C-arm cephalod or caudal to line up the end plates. Position the fluoroscope, keeping the end plates parallel. Keep in mind that the oblique angle of your position will depend on the position of the herniation. The more lateral the herniation, the less oblique the angle. Once this setup is complete, you will administer a local anesthetic, again under live fluoroscopic guidance. The tip of the access needle is lined up with the center of the disc and the lateral border of the superior articulating process. Continue to advance the needle just until you feel resistance of the annulus. The patient could feel pain if the needle is too close to the nerve. Confirm the depth of the needle, which should be no further than the medial border of the pedicle. Using first lateral, then intermittent AP and lateral views, continue to advance the needle until it is approximately in the center of the nucleus, midway between either end plate. Confirm placement and remove the stylet from needle. Once the needle is in place, thread the guide wire using the same procedure. Use lateral then intermittent AP and lateral views until the guide wire is in the center of the nucleus. Use a scalpel to make a nick along the parallel axis of the needle. This allows room for the cannula and dilator set. Next. Thread the dilator through the cannula and lock into place by rotating the proximal blue end of the dilator clockwise one quarter turn. Using the guide wire, advance through the annulus no farther than approximately one quarter of the way into the nucleus. Maintain the placement of the cannula and unscrew the dilator leaving cannulated access to the disc nucleus. Hold on to the cannula knob, taking care not to cover the vent hole, and insert the spine jet perk resector. 
performing the hydrodiscectomy. The entire procedure is typically accomplished in approximately three minutes. We begin by moving the perk resector's distal tip in and out of the cannula for 10 seconds to create space within the nucleus. While doing this, be careful not to advance it more than one half a centimeter beyond the end of the cannula. Begin moving the perk resector using a piston motion, slowly advancing as material is cleared. After about a minute, continue the piston motion while simultaneously rotating clockwise and counterclockwise. Finally, move the perk resector in a fanning motion, working both medially and laterally. The nucleus pulposus will be seen in the evacuation tube as it is being removed. The discectomy is now complete and your patient is ready for post-procedure recovery.